Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews. And I am Tim, and this is my review for Thor, The Dark World. I don't even know how to start off this review, to be quite honest. Um, this is the worst MCU movie that I, I, I can imagine. They pretty much throw everything uh, at you in this movie. Uh, I don't think the Dark Elves should have been a thing to introduce the next Infinity Stone. I, I can't, I, I really can't begin to start to where this movie was bad. Um, but let's talk about a couple of good things about it. Chris Helmsworth is definitely better in this role, uh, than he was in the first Thor. But even that couldn't really help. I really don't like Natalie Portman and Chris Helmsworth's on-camera thing. I don't think they really have good chemistry. I stick to what I say. And I really do... I understand she's a pivotal character in Thor. But I just kind of believe that she could have been a mitted or a different actress. I don't think Natalie Portman was for this role. To be quite honest, I think we could have we could have casted somebody else, but overall, this movie is just it's it's just bad. Uh, this is the first movie that we get a replacement character, and Fanderall is played by Zachary Levi now, uh, which which doesn't matter. This movie is just overall garbage. Uh, the like I said. The Dark Elves, her in, her taking in the, um, her taking in the ether was just kind of dumb. Um, I feel Odin could have been a little bit better in this movie. Uh, I just, uh, it's really hard. I don't want to just completely shit on this movie, but there's nothing good in this movie. The last fight at the end with the holes opening up and all that stuff, it just, it could have been done, ultimately it could have been done better. I feel they went with this, went with this idea and ultimately it failed. Ultimately it failed. This was going to kill the franchise. This movie ultimately killed the standalone Thor franchise. They were not going to make another standalone Thor movie until there was more development with the character and we could get a standalone uh, script that made sense. And when Taika Waititi came into making the script and coming up with the movie, that's the only time they were like, we're going to do it. They were just going to have Chris Helmsworth cameo in the other movies and there wasn't going to be another standalone movie. Which, I mean, it kind of, it kind of sucks, but then it's kind of fully warranted because this movie was ultimately this bad. It seemed just disjointed. Um, I understand killing Frigga was important to the role because it's important to Thor's development, but uh, I just don't know. This this uh, this movie was. Just ultimately bad, and it is panned as one of the worst MCU movies. And anybody who goes back and goes, oh, Thor 2 was good. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to themselves. This movie was horrible. I wouldn't even really recommend it to anybody. I would just give them the crib notes of what happened in this movie and go watch Thor Ragnarok. Just leave this one off the table. Uh, but we get the collector as one of the post credit scenes. I love the collector. He's one of my favorite, absolute favorite characters. Uh, so where does this lie on our five-star review? This is my first two-and-a-half-star movie. 
Uh, this was a below average movie. There wasn't anything really redeemable about this story or about this character or about this script. Uh, and that's where it lies, man. And I mean, I sure I'd probably get a lot of guff for it compared to what other movies I've given three stars to. But this is, a, in my opinion and in my rating, a below average. But good thing we went up from there. So, guys, if you enjoyed this review and you enjoyed my thoughts, please give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave a comment down below. I thank you guys so very much, and we'll see you in our next review.